Hi, this is Adam from the Global Onslaught, and it is a cold Friday evening. I don't know why I always bring my interviews in with a little weather report just beforehand. Uh, I think, I don't know, I don't know. I stumble. Perhaps I stumble. But tonight, no less, from Slough Feg, Mr. Mike Scalzi. How you doing, Mike? All right. I'm okay. You're okay. It's shit out here, too, in California. Everybody thinks it's sunny out here, but it's actually... The weather's shit here because I'm up in the north of San Francisco. It's the weather's shitty here, you know. Well, you say it's shit. What level of shit are you saying? Is, is, is it like? Oh, it's know. like having a bowl of the runs for breakfast or something, you know. Mm, shit. That's yeah. Tasty. Well, you know, you hear about vegans out here, like like we're everybody in California, they're vegans, but here we have fecans. They only eat shit, right? So, you know, <laughs> yeah. some turd for breakfast. No, uh, uh, it's it's shit out here. I mean, it's just. <laughs> It's just raining. It's just it's raining and it's cold and it's fucking, you know. Yeah, you'll never get a job of. on Fox News, let's face it, reporting the, the weather like that. I'm trying, no. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bowl of the runs up here. No, it's just it's just rainy and cold and freezing and there's no reason to go outside. It's not fr- it's not freezing, freezing, but it's like, you know, in the 40s or something. For oh, here, that's, what a shame. You know. my, my, my violin is playing for you at yeah. the 40s. No, I'm not saying, I'm not, I, I actually like it. So, you know, oh, it reminds funny. me of the shitholes in Yorkshire and <laughs> Birmingham and stuff that I've been in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the British weather, basically. So, you've yeah. got, uh, we're, we're here um, um, to, to talk about really uh, Digital Resistance, which is out on February the 18th. Um, it's a great album, I have to say. You it's something so. that I've not heard. Uh, I'm not familiar personally with, with your material up until this album, so I've gone up oh. and then spent the last couple of weeks sort of listening through. And uh, it's a real, uh, from the usual sort of music I'm listening to, it's, it's it's very very different in the in the sense that it take it's quite I don't know there's there's quite a, a, a nice feel to it in terms of a bit of focus, a bit of Lizzie that sort of feel to it. Um, is that what you're kind of going for in, in, in what you do, Mike? Is that? Um, I don't know. See, it's been so long it's since <clears throat> I've made so many records, and there's so much influence from the other records I've done that I don't. I'm not really going for anything at this point. I'm just going for whatever comes out of my head, yeah. or the opposite, or the other end, you know. But uh, <laughs> so I guess I'm going through uh, the thing about you said it has a lot of fill to it. You mean fill line it or fill? I mean fill. Is that there's a lot of oh, fill, fill to it? Fill. It's, it's it's a lot of fill yeah. to it. Sorry, it's the accent. Uh, you have mm. to forgive it. It's a little. Bit. Uh, it's, I know. I'm familiar with the, uh, uh, your your type of accent. It's just that there, there's a. I mean, maybe I was. You know, I wrote this music when I, you know, 20 something years ago and started writing the songs for this band. And really, I was just trying to sound like Maiden and Sabbath and Priest, the, the big three elements of metal. That's it. Sure. And then I noticed that everybody, but I didn't want to sound the same as those bands because all that stuff, even in the, you know. And so people just start saying, oh, it sounds like an Irish folk song or something. I had no, I didn't know shit about folk music. I still don't. I don't even care. But they were like, that sounds like this. That sounds like it. And I heard Thin Lizzy's Black Rose finally. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it kind of does sound like that. You know, and then I started listening to Thin Lizzy and stuff. So, yeah, I suppose it's influenced by all that stuff. I mean, there's, but some, this... there's some great, but, but, uh, some, there's some very, very Celtic, feel. there's a very Celtic feel to it and quite driving rock in its, uh, in, in its own way. It's a bit of a story, really, isn't it? I guess. It's, yeah. It's, you know, the songs, they're kind of like, it's, it's gone back to the original sort of story writers sort of lyrics rather than just a bunch of lyrics if you get what i mean i suppose yeah yeah that's we've been doing that for years so this is just i guess what i'm saying is that i'm in the like this album is that way but it's hard for me to tell because i've been in the pattern of doing these kind of records where they sort of tell a story for so many years now that it kind of comes naturally you know what i mean yeah. like i'll just write like i'll have uh, several songs at the end of the songwriting process that like i have there's several songs that are all about different things the first ones i wrote like warrior's dusk the this last song on the record and then the song digital resistance and then the first song analog avenger with very uh or magic hooligan when they song very different type of lyrics but then i had like four or five songs to write at the end of the writing process i'm like what am i going to do and i didn't have the time so i just started writing like one long set of lyrics and just chop it up and you know they're all <laughs> on the same subject because i have nothing else to say so like oh yeah pixelated children uh mutated cyborg minds uh, staring at your cell phone, getting stupid, George Orwell, uh, and then it just all kind of comes out as one big blob, and I chop it up in the song and say, 
I got one left. What am I going to do? I don't have anything to write about. Oh, I'm watching a Vincent Price movie. The Price is nice. That's a Vincent Price movie. Okay, let's just write about Vincent Price movies. Use all the song titles from the Vincent Price movies over the years and just sing one per line and see if it works. And it did. So luckily, you know, it's sort of at this point, I'm sort of in the groove of doing these things. So I don't have to think about it as much. But yeah, it's sort of a concept, you know. That's really cool. They, I mean, it's been four years since your last uh, studio album. Well, th- yeah, four, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Not too long to me, though. It feels like yesterday. It feels like... Really? Is that how it, is that how it feels? Like obviously, for, 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 for the listeners, it's kind of like, you know, it's quite, quite a long time. Have you been yeah. on the road much? No, oh, not really this time. No. Well... I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe I was. No, um, no, no, no. The, the animal spirits, we went to Europe. Actually, okay, yes, we have been on the road a lot. If you want to look at it that way, we haven't played that much. We've been on the road a lot. We went we went to Europe three times in between, I think. Uh, yeah, we went to Europe in 2012 and did like a like a tour, you know, and then, then we went back. Shit, then we went back for, a, holy fuck, four times. We went to Europe for one tour in 2012, I think. And then we went over for a festival in mm-hmm. Germany in 2012 as, as well, or 13 maybe. And then we went to Norway for one show like six months ago. And then we, yeah, fucking, and then we went for another th- Greece for three shows uh, in 2013 as well. So we did a lot of, a lot of that. Uh, I think it was, yeah, we, we went over four times in the last couple, last three years or something. What, what is it and, about the allure of Europe for you then, Mike? Is it, is it because, is it because the fans over here get your music yeah, than anywhere it. else. Yeah. Or? We did a lot of stuff in the United States too, but it's more boring, you know. Like we went over the West Coast and did some things in Chicago and stuff like that, but uh, small stuff, you know, yeah. small like week weekends and stuff like that. Whereas in Europe, people, yeah, they seem to just get it. Well, we were popular in Europe way before we were popular in America. Like everyone hated us here because metal wasn't coming back in the 90s here, really. But it did come back in the uh, um, you know early 2000s. But we were able to, we weren't able to tour America properly till like 2005 or four or something. Whereas in Europe, we've been going there since 1999 when it. Just this underground metal is more popular. You know, people have better taste. I That's think. very kind to say that. It's true, man. It's it true. <laughs> it does have a, a very European feel. The, the, I think the whole so. Album, yeah. I think it, it kind of lends itself to our sort of folklore and our history and... well that's all the music that, that, that they're influenced by you know is mostly british british music british metal all the best rock and rolls you know it's, it's usually english or irish or something you know mm. uh, for so, whatever reason are you, are you planning to come back here in 2014 not uh well uh, the uk i'm not sure about but in may in late may we're going to be in uh, sweden and scandinavia and italy but i'm not sure about the uk yet i'd like to Oh, I really like to it have there, you. Really. It really would. I love it there. Uh, I just, you know, with England, it's tough because it's really been tough for us in England because of all the, because uh, they don't pay shit, but also because it's, <laughs> <laughs> because it's also the fucking, uh, you can't get in the uh, customs, you know, the, they want working papers and stuff. Yeah. As all the tax laws and, and it's really difficult. I mean, like we, we never had papers. We just get grilled at the, uh, at the uh, uh, customs, like really, you know, like give us hell and try to, well, somehow we always got in, but I mean, you know, it's, I don't know if I want to go through that again. They could just send me home, you know, so. Yeah, it's a long trip, you know. long and expensive trip to just do, uh, to get yeah, supported yeah. really, isn't it? But yeah, it is. Yeah, so. <laughs> We really would like to see you here. It'd be, oh, I'd like to I be think back. It'd be a yeah. great show. And well, we did a good show in London two years ago at at, uh, at uh, the garage there in in, in uh, London. That was good. With Solstice, and that was their first show back for a long time. So hopefully we can get there again in the next year. Or so I don't know. Let's hope so. We'll keep our fingers crossed. 